sushi chef and owner Kataro Arai's fun-filled vacation to Miami got off to a bumpy start on Sunday morning as he and other passengers on Southwest Airlines Flight 700 witnessed a violent dispute between a passenger and a flight attendant on their way from Sacramento to San Diego. In the beginning, they were not arguing. They were just like, do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Then, you know, even flight attendant said, don't touch me. According to a Southwest Airlines spokesperson, the passenger ignored the flight crew's constant reminders of wearing a seatbelt and putting her tray table away. She became verbally and physically combative upon landing. I was about to go there to, hey, take it easy. I was about to stand up and this lady stood up and pound. Arai took this photo moments after the assault, showing the young female who allegedly threw the punch and the frazzled flight attendant bleeding from her face. I could be on the floor like that if I get hit like that. And she, she went all for us too. This video sent to us by another passenger shows what appears to be that same woman being escorted off the plane by the San Diego Harbor Police Department. There were three officers that came on the plane and one of them was still back there with the flight attendant. I talked to the flight attendant on my flight back the next day and she told me that yes, the flight attendant had broken teeth, a broken nose, facial injuries. The president of Southwest Flight Attendant Union told media outlets between April 8th and May 15th there have been 477 reported incidents of misconduct by passengers on Southwest planes. In response to this recent incident, Southwest sent us this statement saying, quote, We do not condone or tolerate verbal or physical abuse of our flight crews, and we will continue to work with both the FAA and the union to preserve and protect the safety and well-being of our flight crews and customers. I don't know what makes somebody do such a stupid thing. I honestly don't. Canonas is now charged with battery causing serious bodily injury. Now, I did ask Southwest if alcohol or drugs were involved in this and if Canonas is now on their no-fly list for ever, and they said they could not comment at this, at this time. Live outside of Sacramento International Airport, Melanie Townsend, Fox 40 News.